the complex you can find the uninvisible panel. The first time you will find some information about it is by visiting the array epsilon. That is the building exactly above one of the safe houses. Well, to find it and use it correctly, you have to visit the complex during the evening. Where, after exiting the safe house, turn to the right and reach the bunker you will see in the distance. Once inside, go forward until you will find the exit. Once outside, you will immediately find the array Y to explore in front of you. Get upstairs and use the barrels in order to reach the roof. From where on the right, you will be able to enter inside. Here, at the end of the room on the right, you will find the manhole to use in order to get to the first floor. Where you will find the door in order to exit the room. Here you will find another part of the building you can explore by opening the door you will see in front of you. Where under the map you will find a note you have to read. In this note, find the statistically significant text. Underneath it, there is a time followed by a code. Write down this code because you will need it later on. Now that you have it, go back to your safe house and skip the time till the next morning. Get again inside the complex, where, after exiting the safe house, you will find this structure immediately nearby. But this time, after going to the second floor, you have to hack the two turrets you will see through the windows. Then get inside and turn around in order to see several turret nullifiers on the ground. Hack one of them and take it out with you. Bring it out in front of the building where you will see a red pipe. Place it down in front of this pipe and enable the nullifier. This will reveal the invisible control panel where you have to insert the code you found in the previous evening. Then press the stop button that will result in a failing of the Agor experiment. This is part of the story required to send Agor to the Alexis party during the evening in the Dam.